Hi everyone, and welcome to this insightful video on delving into the power of affirmations using a more scientific approach, analyzing our different brainwave states, the importance of the alpha brainwave state, and also how affirmations can help in terms of subconscious reprogramming and reforming conditioned patterns. Hi everyone, if you're new, my name is Jenna, and I'm so excited to welcome you here to the Affirming and Aligning community, a community of self-growth tools, specifically meditations, affirmations, and more, in order for you to help affirm your power and align with your best self. So before we get started, I did want to kind of give a little bit of a disclaimer. I am obviously not a neuroscientist. A neuroscientist. Uh, I have not studied neuroscience specifically in education and schooling, anything like that. This is all from my own research, uh, from my own studies, reading books, listening to podcasts, uh, etc. And so I always recommend you do your own research, you find what resonates with you. And this video is just meant as more of an overview and kind of I wanted to give more of a scientific backing to all the power of the tools that I'm putting out and so this is why I created this video but if you do feel like you want to research further delve deeper get more into the facts then I urge you to do so uh, and yeah I just wanted to disclaim that so without further ado let's delve on in here to start us off I will just show this visual here so these are our five brainwave states, and it's a little bit easier to see the visual as I kind of explain them so you could kind of see you know, how fast they're going, their frequency live. So basically brainwaves are just the oscillating electrical voltages in our brain, uh, and they're measuring just about a few millionths of a volt. So that's kind of their charge. And they are measured in terms of frequency, in terms of hertz. So each different state has a different hertz, has a different frequency. This is very similar to how music is measured. Music is measured in terms of hertz, in terms of that frequency. And so, uh, when you look up like calming music, things like that, it'll be it'll say like um, 528 hertz, 432 hertz, 852 hertz. It'll usually say the hertz behind it because various hertz have different healing powers, have different um, basically energies energies behind each different frequency. And so it's kind of very similar to brain waves. So I thought I would make that analogy. Third us off is the delta state. This is very much when we're in a deep sleep. Usually only infants can access this state while conscious. Uh, it's very much a sleepy, dreamy, in a deep, deep, um, deep sleep basically. Uh, not much thought going on here. Uh, you're just very much very, very relaxed. And this usually, the frequency is around 0.5 to 4 hertz. There's different numbers in wherever you check, but that's around the ballpark number. As we move up is the theta state. So in this state, you can usually access it if you're in deep meditation, more like 45 minutes an hour. Uh, if you're in a hypnosis session, things like that. You're very, very relaxed, or it's a very light sleep, that kind of stuff, to give you a little bit of a more depiction. And this frequency is around uh, 4 to 8 hertz, usually. That's kind of the ballpark there. And next is the alpha state. So in this state, we are very much more relaxed, we are calm, uh, you know, our brain isn't moving as fast, we're not making as quick of thoughts, uh, we're just very much in a great neutral, relaxed state, usually about 15 to 20 minute meditation gets us here, uh, that's why meditation is so powerful, um, and it's a great state for relaxation and a beautiful, beautiful state to be in. But I usually ask it's around 8 to 12 hertz. Uh, and all, by, by the way, fun fact, all my music uh, behind my affirmations, meditations, I try to make it around 10 hertz so it can really access that relaxation alpha state, uh, just as a little fun fact. And then moving up is our, obviously, beta state. So this is our waking state. This is making day-to-day -day decisions. Uh, you're analyzing things, a very fast-moving thought. Uh, this is obviously just the thought we're in day to day, um, and it's great. However, when we're in this state for a little bit of a too prolonged period, it can lead to stress, to anxiety, to a lot of overthinking that obviously is not good to our well-being. And this usually is about 14 to 35 hertz. That's usually the frequency there. And lastly is uh, the gamma state. So this is when we're in deep concentration, deep study, deep uh, thought. That is when we are in the gamma state, and this is usually around 35 to um, basically 40, 40 hertz is uh, the ballpark there, but usually just around 35 is the number there. And this is just deep concentration. So those are all of the five here. 
And so like I was saying, when we're in the beta state for too long, uh, in a prolonged period, day to day, it can cause over anxiety, uh, too much stress, things like that. While we need it and while it's very much part of our daily waking lives and it's great, uh, it's important to come to more healing states such as the alpha state, the theta state, so we can kind of rejuvenate, restore. Um, and so basically the, in the alpha state, getting more into it, this is where our body can release serotonin just on its own. And also this is kind of, it's very similar to being like in a runner's high where you feel very good after a good run or after a good high intensity workout. Uh, so this is a very great state to be in. It releases the happy chemical serotonin, great thing um, for your well-being. And it's just an overall very relaxing and rejuvenating state. So like I said, doing those guided meditations as, that I put out, doing a 10 to 15 meditation kind of gets you here. Also, when we wake up, in the first 20 minutes of our day, we are in the alpha state. Why this is so important, and also just as we're getting, just as we're getting to bed as well, we're very much more relaxed and we're getting into the alpha state than the theta state, the alpha state. Anyways, but um, so the first 20 minutes of our day, we are in this alpha state. That's why it is so prime that we have a great morning routine, a great affirmation session right when we get up. And why this is important is because our alpha state is the gateway to our subconscious mind. Okay, so that's when we're in this state, our subconscious mind is more the forefront. If you think of it as a sponge, it's a little bit, it does, it's not as filled with water, it's a little bit more absorbable at this time. So we can fill it with information, with uh, positive thoughts, positive affirmations that help us and can heal any, um, you know, past conditioning, uh, past, you know, traumas, things like that. So it can really help reprogram our subconscious to work for us. Why the subconscious is so important is because if you look anywhere, it the numbers are a little bit different, but around 90 to 95% of our daily actions are ruled by our subconscious. So our subconscious basically rules our behavior in almost anything. And our subconscious was formed within the first uh, seven to eight years of our life. So whatever we were experiencing in childhood, learning, being taught, seen in our family dynamics, those were all continuously absorbed in our subconscious. And that later on led to how we behave now, led to how we behave as adults, as we behaved in our um, more of our teenage years and how we're showing up in the world. So when we are able to use the first 20 minutes of our day, use that time that we're, that we're still in that subconscious state and planting it with positive uh, reinforcing affirmations it's so powerful because then we're starting to absorb starting to reprogram uh, any conditioning in the past that we learned as a child that's not serving us now that's making us feel more worried now and I mean obviously you can do this so much more with you know hypnotherapy sessions um, just other other tools but you, why not utilize the first 20 minutes of your day and the first 20 minutes before you go to bed uh, and use affirmation work? Uh, I've seen that basically if you do it for 21 days, that's when you will start definitely seeing results. And around the 60 day mark is when you will 100% have seen a change in the way you approach certain situations that you were uh, conditioned to approach a certain way before. So it's very, very powerful. Uh, that's why I, you know, I made the affirmations for the morning and for the night, uh, just to kind of give you ideas that you can maybe play around with when you make your own affirmations uh, or if you listen to the ones I put out before you head to sleep or right when you wake up. So allow yourself to tap into and make the most of when you are in and out the state in the morning and in at night uh, and, re and put in beautiful positive uh, thoughts, affirmations and plant those into your subconscious because when we are approaching the world today and we've had certain conditioned behaviors in childhood that maybe you know are not serving us now we want to unshed all that all that programming all that conditioned behavior and just let in what is truly meant for us and how we should truly feel so allowing ourselves to just repeat these affirmations listen repeat while we're in the alpha state is so powerful. So that's a little bit more of the science of why making the most of your morning and your night is so important. You know, do not just hop on your phone and social media right when you wake up. Really use those first 20 minutes as a slow wake up. If you can even get more of a slower alarm sound, I know some of us is hard to wake up with without like a jolting sound, which is fine, but as much as you can do, let yourself relax in the morning. Put in those good feeling affirmations. Let your subconscious absorb all that goodness in 
and start to see results um, as you do this daily. So it's kind of the same as a habit. Each day as we reinforce, as we repeat, as we listen to these positive thoughts and affirmations, um, that's when we can start to see changes when we make it a daily commitment. Uh, so yeah. I just wanted to give a little bit more of this fun little, I just like loved learning about this as I was hearing more about the power of affirmations. And so I was like, why not share it? This is why I'm creating these tools. This, this is why I know they are powerful. Um, and I wanted to give you what, like the more prime time to be using these. Obviously throughout the whole day is, is gonna do nothing but help you, but specifically utilize the morning and the night uh, in terms of affirmation practice. So I hope this was helpful. Like I said, do your own research, uh, find what resonates with you, but this is what I have found, this is what studies have shown, and I wanted to just give a quick, concise, uh, and insightful video for you here in terms of all the resources that I am going to be putting out. So I love you guys. Let me know if this was helpful. Please subscribe. Thank you.